back to Cooking with Gloria. Today I want to share with you a very delicious pumpkin atole that I know that you guys are going to love and enjoy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well I invite you to subscribe. I put up a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You'll be notified with those delicious recipes. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. sugar, two cinnamon sticks, pumpkin, water, whole milk, and this is everything we need to make this delicious pumpkin atole. I know that you guys are really going to love it and enjoy it. So let's get started. And now I am ready to start adding and taking away all the seeds from the center of my pumpkin. Of course, I'm not using a whole pumpkin, I'm using just a piece. And we need about four to five cups of the pumpkin. So I'm taking away all the center and I'm not going to throw it away. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it and then I'm gonna toast the seeds and I'm gonna enjoy them. Well, right now I'm just slicing away and of course I'm gonna take all the skin off, but please be careful because the pumpkin skin is so hard to remove. Just be careful. Okay, this is completely done and I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it here to my pan and to this I am going to start adding my sugar cones I'm adding two sugar cones but remember you could add just one and then if you need a little more then add a little more I have two cinnamon sticks and I'm adding them at this moment and I'm gonna go ahead add one cup of water and let's take it to the stove and start cooking it okay I have it here look at this i'm gonna let it cook in medium low heat for about 25 minutes but you know something i think i need to transfer everything to a bigger pan and i did now it's nice and started bubbling the sugar cones have dissolved completely and of course the cinnamons are releasing all the delicious flavor well i'm gonna cover it and i'll see you when they are nice and soft and mushy let's cover it 25 minutes have passed and let me see this is really nice and soft and now now i am ready to go ahead and transfer it to my blender cup like i said we're going to use about four to four to five cups of the pumpkin that's how much we need to make this delicious pumpkin atole to this i didn't add any liquid and now i am adding the cold milk remember when you're using one of these blenders don't ever add anything hot to them only cold things i don't want you to get hurt we're going to go ahead and blend it completely for about three to four minutes when everything is nice and blended now i'm going to go ahead and start adding it in here into my pan okay i'm gonna add it and i'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the milk we're just gonna go ahead and mix it around making sure that it doesn't stick on the bottom and we're gonna cook it for about five to ten minutes until it's nice and bubbling and it really is nice and hot to my tasting this is perfect we do not need to add any more sugar but look at this it started already boiling i didn't add to this um atole any cornstarch but it's really nice and thick look at this remember if you want it a little thicker then you could just add one tablespoon and half a cup of water with your cornstarch you know 
but to my tasting this is fine and this is just okay for me so this is completely done and now i am ready for the presentation and of course i can't wait to taste it so i'll see you back in a little bit let's enjoy this mexican atole with this delicious pumpkin atole. Of course, you could add some sweet bread. You could just drink it on its own to get nice and cozy, nice and warm. Or of course, you could even add one Mexican tamal. Of course, you have the recipes on my channel to make those delicious Mexican tamales. Well, this is the part I really love and enjoy, tasting my recipes. Let's see how this atole came out, excuse me. Mmm, it's really nice and hot. It's just amazing. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share my video on social media with friends, with relatives, with your neighbors, so cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated so every time i make a delicious recipe you are going to be notified i want to say thank you so much for playing this video and the rest of the videos but before i say i see you soon i wish you nothing but the best peace and love and of course i will stay enjoying this delicious pumpkin atole Bye bye